Hello everyone, welcome to Open Plant uh, Tech Tip Tuesday. Uh, my name is Abbas Ali Zaidi, and today we will be uh, going over how to extend the uh, auto match criteria in Open Plant Modeler. So I've opened up uh, Open Plant Modeler Design Session. Uh, let me zoom into um, this area of this uh, sample model. And let me just initiate uh, pipe placement. So typically in Open Plan Modeler, when I'm placing components uh, and connecting to uh, the existing components in the model, uh, the uh, properties specified in the standard preferences dialog uh, take into effect. So for instance, uh, currently I have a line defined as uh, one dash SG, uh, and with spec uh, EXOPM, so when I'm placing uh, components, uh, these components are placed uh, with these parameters. Uh, they are on the current existing line as defined in the standard preferences with the uh, as uh, with the EX uh, specification. So if I see element information here. Uh, you can see that the specification is as I've specified in the uh, standard preferences dialog. So, however, there is also another option in the standard preferences dialog, which is um, auto match. So, if I select this option here and then do the pipe placement, uh, connect to this existing uh, pipe, and place a bunch of components. Now notice that the pipe is placed on the pipeline that is uh, uh, for the existing component and not for what I have defined in the standard preferences dialog. Similarly, the specification for these uh, components is different. Uh, it is as the specification uh, value uh, of this uh, connecting component which were existing in the uh, pipeline model. So this is basically the uh, auto match option in open bound modeler that it takes up certain values from existing components, uh, matches up the connection criteria, and uh, places the components uh, accordingly. So the question is how to extend this criteria? What are the properties that are currently uh, used uh, uh, for this auto match operation? And how we can extend that? Uh, for instance, if um, um, a user has created their own uh, properties, added some specific attributes, uh, for component classes, uh, then they are performing this operation. How, how do they ensure that uh, those new properties are part of this uh, automatic uh, operation? Okay, uh, so let's look uh, where the criteria for automatic is defined. Uh, let me open up uh, my Explorer window and go to uh, the uh, Open Plant uh, Connect Edition configuration folder and go to my current work set. So in this uh, work set, uh, we have work files and standards folder. So I'll go to standards folder, uh, select open plant, and then go to modeler folder. In modeler folder, uh, I'll go to systems folder. And in this folder, we have few XML files, which are basically uh, system related settings, uh, some auto fitting rules, uh, some disciplines related, but the file of interest for today is this uh, match options.xml. So let me edit this file using Notepad. When I open this file, as you can see, for different disciplines uh, like piping, cable tray, HVAC, uh, certain properties are defined as match property. And these properties are basically uh, forming this uh, auto match uh, criteria. If I have added new properties uh, in my classes, I can add a new property here and that will uh, be applicable for uh, this. So just as an example, uh, let's just add one property here, maybe say uh, component state.
and uh, save this file. So I'll have to relaunch Open Plan Modeler. And open the same uh, DGN again. Um, so now uh, our component state is designed. Uh, let's just place a few um, more components here with this particular setting. So for these new components, um, let's look at the design state property. And the component state is designed for these. I'll change the value here. So for example, let's just set to for demolition. And when I place new components in space, And select this. Notice that the component state uh, gets uh, for demolition uh, as per the uh, new value here. However, when I've selected this auto match option to be on, and I'll place connecting components uh, with the uh, with an existing component that's already placed in the model uh, with some value of component state that was in design. Uh, the new components that will get placed uh, should get the uh, value from the connecting components and not from standard uh, preferences. So let's just verify this and select this component and see that the component state that we added in our auto match option is now set to design. So in this way you can quickly change auto match criteria as per your own uh, project and design needs and effectively uh, when placing new components, you can ensure that they are placed um, with the correct uh, pipeline and current spe correct specification uh, as uh, the connecting components. So I hope uh, this was uh, helpful. Uh, thank you for watching today's tech tip.